Flashpoint stood at attention in the doorway of an Imperial office. His Stormtrooper armor was stiff and non-flexible. He much preferred his old Clone Trooper armor. An officer walked past him. Flashpoint recognized him as the Dutchman. The Dutchman stood before another lower-ranking officer. Captain Stevenson, how is the prisoner? He is fine, sir. I've sent him with a large guard to Commander Cody's headquarters. He should be arriving there shortly. Very well done. I imagine a promotion will be in your near future. Now there is still the matter of Rico. He remains on the planet Kuat for the time being, blockaded. I don't want him leaving there anytime soon. The vehicle factory on the planet has only just finished construction, so we need at least a day or two to produce enough tanks to launch an assault on him and his troopers. Yes sir, I will ensure that the planet is completely blockaded. We can put an end to this pesky war soon. That we can, son. That we can. Flashpoint was finished with his guard shift a few hours later. He called for Racket's holocron in privacy. Racket, they're going to blockade Rico into the planet. You have to evac him now. We can't do that. If we land more ships, they'll simply blow them sky high like they did to Rico's ships. What can we do then, sir? Nothing for now. You sit tight and keep gathering intelligence. The rest of our operatives are continuing as well, so you're not alone out there. Just remember the code. My land speeder at home needs a jump. Good luck, my friend. I'll be in touch. Racket went to check in on 55. Boris had arrived before him. Still knocked out? Racket asked. Yeah, the droids think he will make a full recovery though. It'll just take a bit of time. Good, good. Now, Boris, I've gotten reports from the Rebels that their intelligence is saying the Imperials are preparing for an attack on their base on Yavin 4. I want to keep good standings with them, so I'm sending you with a few forces to bolster their ranks. Should be a simple enough mission. Great, sir. I'm itching to get back out there. Best of luck, son. Flax Fleet will be nearby at Camino to make sure no attacks are made there, so he may be able to support with a few troops. Boris set up his clone troopers and the Rebel Alliance on Yavin 4. The Imperials would be coming soon. But then, from a distance, a figure loomed. It was Darth Vader, with his dreaded 501st Stormtrooper Legion. This battle would be far more difficult than Boris or Racket ever expected. Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and I am back with another episode of Star Wars Rico's Brigade. And today, it's going to be one doozy of a battle as this season of Rico's Brigade sort of some comes to a close here. We're seeing big power plays from all factions, and... Uh, the Empire is no exception to this. They're sending out Vader and Vader's Fist to do a rare appearance on the battlefield. Uh, normally during Rico's Brigade, Vader has been sort of taking a back seat to things, allowing his generals and commanders to come out while he sort of hunts Jedi and does his little own side missions. Um, but today he's coming out for this large scale invasion battle with his uh, 501st Clone Trooper Legion, Vader's Fist. So you know that this is an important battle and it is going to be a doozy because he's bringing out the big guns. And he's brought him with plenty of resources here. They've got, you know, ships flying in, they've got ammunition, they've got weapons, they've got tanks in, in the form of ATSTs. They've got it all, really. And uh, they're going to be leading a vast assault on this Yavin 4 Rebel Alliance base, which is, of course, a very important base for the Rebel Alliance. It probably houses a great deal of their intel. Not to mention, it's a pretty good strategic position in the galaxy. They've sort of carved out their own little portion of the galaxy in the corner. So losing this base could cut uh, trade ties with their other planets and also really just hurt them in the long run. So... Rico, or Racket rather, while Rico is out of commission, sent forward Boris and some clone troopers to aid the rebels here. So they're taking up arms all along these defenses here within the base itself. And then they've also got defenses on the outside of the base, across the river. Um, they've got Wookiee turrets here, just fun little technology I decided to use for this battle. Uh, they've got standard machine gun turrets as well. They've got every variety of weapon you could possibly dream of for their troopers. And uh, they're scattered out very nicely, so they're going to put up a solid defense here. And I'm really excited to see this battle. So um, it's, it's going to be one heck of a doozy. Either way, guys, I uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out and thank you to Flying Dutchman for providing some voiceover acting for the intro to this. He plays Flying Dutchman, of course. Um, link to his channel will be in the description. 
head over there, say hi, say thank you, or whatever you want to do. Uh, if you like my content, uh, you'll certainly like his, so consider checking that out and staying. Just huge thank you to him and um, pretty much everyone this season who's done voiceovers. Thank you so much. It's um, I know you take time out of your day to do it, and it's very much so appreciated. I think it improves the quality of the videos and all that. But enough of me rambling. Let's get on with this battle. One moment, please. All right, you bad Larrys, I think we're ready to roll here. Let's press start. I did end up dropping uh, Darth's lightsaber because uh, if he had it, he would just charge the enemy. Instead, I gave him an elite E11 uh, blast rifle. So a, a rare occasion where Darth isn't using his lightsaber. Let's say maybe it was defective or something like that for this battle and it was going haywire. So he's like, screw it, we're gonna drop it and we're gonna use our E11 rifle here. Um, so that's the lore behind it, I suppose. Um, also, I had a cup of coffee since I um, since I went to do the intro, so you're gonna be experiencing hyped up daily. Uh, and our first glimpse of the battle is occurring over here as the rebels open fire at some of these uh, Imperial soldiers. Remember, this is Rico's Brigade, so I am allowed to control the troopers. This uh, ATST here is really pouring it into our guys over this way. Let's actually see if we can find... Um, there's actually a few uh, rocket troopers over here, that's what I was trying to say. Let's, let's just grab one of them and try to take out this ATST as quickly as possible because it, it could just potentially totally destroy our lines. And boom! Hey, one shot. Not bad. Where's the second one at? Oh, the second one's over here. It actually got taken care of and blew up and took out an entire squad there. Oh my goodness. Holy guacamole. Um, okay, good. Actually, that's... That's great because um, those ATSTs can be quite lethal if you let them get into your back line. So just taking those boys out of the game nice and early is pretty huge for us rebels. Here's Darth with his troops sort of coming forward here, attacking the Rebel Alliance. Looks like our trenches are getting sort of butchered for the most part. Um, but this is just the other side of the river part of the battle. You know what? Retreating these guys would be suicide for them, so I'm going to leave them where they are. In fact, maybe we could we could crouch them down, and that way when the Imperials get nice and close, we'll, we'll grenade them. Uh, this side seems to be holding out a little bit better. These Rebels managing to get quite a number of kills. It helps that they managed to take out that ATST so quickly, uh, which took out an entire squad. That explosion was massive. So uh, that's pretty huge. This Wookiee turret... Uh, still doing its work. Nice job, man. What? Look at this. Oh my god, the Wookiee turret can't shoot exactly straight, so this line of bullets, uh, around the soldier from where he was standing in between. That's hilarious. That Wookiee, um, blaster did end up going down, though, which is kind of a shame. Uh, over here, it looks like a bit of a mass slaughter happened. Um, maybe we can try to retreat a few of these troopers back into the base, actually. Um, and... Ooh, it's kind of risky. You know, let's just lower the rest of them down so that way these guys can, once the Imperials start crossing the river, they can get some nice uh, cheeky shots on them. But they did do a good job holding these guys off. They got a number of kills, uh, which is all good in the hood. Honestly, any amount of kills at this point is good for us because as the Imperials come forward, we're going to need to make sure they suffer some attrition or else they'll be too powerful at the end for us. So we see some Imperials skirmishing in the forest over here. We're getting some kills on them. They're clearly getting some kills on us. Hey, we still have this uh, machine gun over here on the side, so that's pretty sick. That thing will stay in commission for a little while, hopefully. Ooh, this whole batch of troopers on the other side of the river is dead. These guys over here starting to suffer a few losses. I'm going to do what I normally do, which is drop a few of them to the ground, so that way, like this, we can maybe get some get some kills with these guys. Yep, there we go. We see the grenades coming out, and uh, could potentially lead to some Imperial k, -k, -k chaos um, Let's get... No, we didn't manage to toss that grenade. That would have been actually huge, but uh, no dice. These guys are still laying down over there. That's good to know. Um, these guys suffering some serious losses. That's okay. The main base is still holding fairly strong here. Uh, whoa, buddy, buddy, buddy. We're about to get flanked here. Good thing I checked in. I don't want to lose this machine gun too too soon. Ooh, it's kind of inaccurate, actually. Okay, that's fine. All right. We still got plenty of troopers over here. Anyone taking too much fire, the, the rule of thumb is duck them down so that they can live to fight another day and... Um, and get in the mix once the Imperials get nice and close. And that is what's going to happen over here right now. This medic, take out your grenade, buddy. And uh, 
Rotate around this way. Oh, I held it too long. That was bad. That's okay. Actually, I ended up getting a kill. All right, not the worst then. All right. Dude, 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 no, 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 no. What? All right, that was not my fault. The AI wouldn't rotate, um, which is freaking stupid. Uh, and so I couldn't get the grenade off. That should be a pretty good one. Oh, yes, beautiful. That was a five piece. Um, now they're getting really close and actually flanking around here, so no time to grenade, but we can start trying to use the rifle. Nope, we ended up going down, but as you can see, we ended up causing some losses for the Imperials in that instance. Here's Vader and his troopers crossing uh, the river. Pretty sweet looking, honestly. I mean, look at that. That looks so dope. How could you not absolutely love that? Oh my goodness. That'll make some nice screenshots right there, honestly. That's beautiful. Cool. Okay, um, more Imperials getting up close and personal over this way. Uh, that's the brave soldier who took out the ATST, is it not? Oh no, he was on the other side. Never mind. All right, get that grenade out there. That'll that'll be a good one. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Nice one. Okay, um, you sir, sir, can also go ahead and try and get a grenade out here. Ooh, eh, not the best. He kind of sidearmed it a little bit there. That's okay. Um, Vader's trooper is really coming in hot over here. We're getting some nice kills though, uh, really trapping them in. Um, Boris and his boys over here are kind of under fire. I'm going to duck Boris down just so he doesn't catch a stray bullet to the dome or something like that and go out. There's no point in losing bullet Boris just to a stupid shot or whatever. Vader's sort of ducking behind that uh, rock for cover. There's some snipers over here firing at our boys across the way. Um, I kind of ah that there's the potential to get a grenade in this cluster, but we'd have to k okay. Oh no, they have to walk all the way around. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh, this is a disaster. Okay, uh, get, I, I was indecisive. I just butchered that entire squad. Oh my god. Okay, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to get these guys over here and just toss a few grenades in there, and that would have been huge. That would have gotten so many kills, but instead of going directly under, they decided to go around this rock, and then I was like, oh, I bailed, and then they got shot from across the river before I could. If that stupid pathfinding from the AI wasn't like that, I think we would have made it, but um, since it was, it just didn't pan out, I guess. Um, we still got one little secret agent dude over here. All he's got is an E11, so he can't really do much in terms of firepower, but if these guys end up getting close enough to him, we'll be able to take him out with some grenades. Still got a solid defensive position over here, too. Uh, we're just sort of skirmishing over here with the guys across the river. I think this position is good. I don't think we really have to adjust it at all. Um, the outcome will really be decided by who ends up getting enough fire out and takes them out. Um, which it seems like we're, we're taking a lot of them out, so I'm not too worried about them over there. Our boys in the middle over here, they're taking a few losses, but overall they're keeping their fire rate up and not getting too suppressed, so it's not worth ducking them down quite yet. These guys over here are doing great. Um, yeah, I think overall there's not a ton I could do. Maybe we could get a cheeky grenade off with this guy. He needs to be a little closer. Can we maybe hop skip him over here? Uh, yeet! Oh, nice one. Okay. Uh, when they get closer, we'll use him to grenade. That'll be nice. Um, these Imperials over here are clearly glitched, so um, just to help the AI not be stupid, uh, we're going to move them out here. Very nice. Very nice. All right, cool. Yeah, so they'll get back to being involved with the battle and not being so dumb. Um, in fact, this is kind of a choke point right here, so I expect them to take some serious losses. Hopefully, we're seeing a few of our... Oh, we actually took quite a substantial number of losses over here at some point. Oh, the Imperials are coming quite far forward. There's Vader himself. All right. Um, wow, okay, that escalated kind of quickly. Uh... Drop these guys down with Boris. These guys in the middle drop down. These guys on the right because they they can kind of catch these guys on off guard. We'll keep them up. These guys over here drop them down too. This is... Okay. This guy over here might be able to get a grenade off. Oh. Yam it on out there. That could actually... No, he twisted. He twisted. Oh, and he dislodged himself. What a fool. Ugh. Blast it. Okay. Hmm. This guy could maybe pop out. Get a, get a couple kills. Oh, God. This, they destroyed our entire... Wow. 
This is quickly falling apart. Honestly, I thought we had the Empire. I, I thought we were going to win this battle. Okay, wait. Our last hope is some sick grenade plays. The distance we can throw the grenade is only about 18 meters, so that's the range from this guy to there. Um, we can try our best to get some, but I don't, I don't know if it'll be enough. That No, why did you rotate? Why... Alright guys, we suffered another crash. I don't know why, but the last few episodes, there's there's been a plethora of crashes and it's getting kind of annoying. Um, I really do apologize about this. There's not a lot I can do about it, but um, it, it is rather frustrating in all honesty. But I tried to set it up like a little bit, like if we rewound time a little bit. So the uh, rebels still have soldiers out and about. Here's Boris. I don't know why he's not behind his uh, his position here. Uh, but as you can see, the rebels still have more soldiers than before. None of them are, like, laying down or anything like that. Um, and the Imperials have a little bit more soldiers than before as well. So we're starting off basically once the Imperials start crossing over the water. So we'll get back into it. I do apologize about the crash. I wish it didn't happen. Uh, sadly, this is just one of those things that just sort of does end up happening um, in... in uh, a rather unstable version of the mod that I use for Rico's Brigade simply because uh, it's got more assets and properties that I need for Rico's Brigade than the newer version. Um, regardless, the Empire is coming forward. Vader leading his troopers and the battle commences once more with the Rebels unleashing uh, fire and fury at the, um, the Imperials getting a number of kills here uh, in the water. It would suck to be shot down in the water. Darth, it, like I said, with his lightsaber is charging forward. He, something about him, he gets so cocky when he's got that, that lightsaber. He, he just needs to charge. He just needs to do it. And now he's just sort of chilling over here doing his thing. He can, he can do whatever he likes. His Imperial boys have him backed up sort of over here. Again, I'm going to drop uh, Boris down to the ground so he doesn't die immediately and he can have a bit of a, a stand. Um, Vader's still going in. He can he can charge if he likes. You know what? Let Vader have his fun. He loves to play rough. And he actually ends up getting a kill there. He gets another. Vader's tearing it up. He gets a third. What a lad. And these guys behind him also end up dying too. Um, so now the Rebels are really on their last legs here. Similar to a situation where they were before. A little less epic, which is sad, but, um, you know, it's, it's similar to where we were in the, in the previous bit here. Alright, let's drop everyone down. Uh-oh, Vader's actually coming in. Oh god, Boris, 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 Boris. <gasps> Vader killed Boris! Boris died at the hands of Vader! Oh my god, Vader's still just sort of tearing it up in here. Jeez, okay, so Boris has has fallen. A fallen comrade. Can his boys avenge him? Um, mayhaps. Vader's kind of doofing. What are you doing, Vader? Like, do you want to... Do you have, like, ADHD or are you just spazzing? Like, not that people who have ADHD are spazzes. I think I have minor, but... <laughs> get out of there, Vader. Let, let your troops come forward. We want to do some grenading with these guys. No, stop. Vader. Vader. Bad Vader. Okay. I want to do some grenading with these guys, see if we can take out some Imperials. Um, either way, dang, Boris, a fallen hero, going down in the midst of battle to none other than Darth Vader himself. That is tragic. All right, a good grenade there from his allies, though. Um, these guys dead set on avenging their fallen leader. They're all that's left. Two clone troopers. Oh, okay, one clone trooper. <laughs> but they're getting some good kills here. Honestly, as many as they can get on Vader's 501st, it's all they want is, uh, is a little bit of revenge here, and they're going to keep lobbing the grenades as they've got them on these oncoming troopers. Um, he's not going to stop even when they get close. Okay, he's out of grenades, so he's going to stop, uh, but now he can take out his blaster, and he tried to get the kill there, but he ends up dying. Um... So a complete disaster in the air in there. I think that is where the battle was sort of heading in the first place um, when we had it set up previously and then the crash happened. So I think it was a pretty fair representation of what was going to happen. But um, I honestly, in the beginning of the battle, I thought the rebels had it. I thought we were holding really strong, but then the empire just pulled through, I guess, at the very end. Um, 
in the second bit. There's not a lot of casualties to look at because of the game crash. I do apologize for that, though I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Rico's Brigade. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, thanks so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you all later. Peace. Comment and subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.